Okay, we're going to we're going to continue our discussion of um, uh, actual codes um, that can implement source coding. Uh, last time we talked about uh, Huffman codes, which are we showed uh, our prefix codes. It turns out that they're the optimal prefix codes, although we didn't show that. The proof is in the book if you're interested. Um, today we're going to talk about a different class of codes called Shannon Vanilla's codes. The interesting thing about these codes is that, um, so in the uh, in the case of the Huffman code, um, we had to go through the entire Huffman procedure in order to find um, in order to find the code word uh, corresponding to each source letter. Shannon found our last codes. Uh, given the distribution, all I need to know is the distribution. I can immediately write down uh, the code word corresponding to uh, one of the source letters. So. Um, <coughs> Here's how, here's how we define these. Let's, um, so up till now, we've generally been using the letters uh, A, B, C, and so on for source letters. Let's, uh, let's convert that. We're going to need to order the source letters. So let's, uh, let's talk about them as numbers. So let's let the source, no loss of generality, Consider sources uh, on alphabets of X equals one, two, three, and so on, up to M. <coughs> Where M is the number of possibilities for the source. We're also going to consider um, that the encoding alphabet is binary. So, for, for these sources, what we're going to need is the cumulative distribution function. So we have um, probabilities over x to get, uh, to go from probabilities to a cumulative distribution function. Which I get the notation f of x, capital F of x. What I do is I sum <coughs> from uh, what I'm going to say is the sum over all x prime less than x of p of x prime. And that's f of x. So does that mean that's basically the probability of x and everything that's less than x. So for example, if, um, if x is 1, 2, 3, and p of x is equal to, for 1, let's say it's 0 0.5, for 2, it's 0 0.3, and for 3, it's 0 0.2, then cumulative distribution function, capital F of x, is basically the accumulating sum over these, uh, over these elements. So in other words, um, the first one is 0 0.5, because 0 0.5 is the first element. The second element is this plus this, so it's the, it's the accumulating sum, 0 0.8, and the third element is all three of them together, 0 0.1. So in other words, each element of f of x is the sum of this probability plus everything less than, or plus all of the source letters uh, less than. It. So bearing in mind that definition of the cumulative distribution function. Let's get a modified CDF. We'll call this the CDF. A modified CDF. Let's uh, <coughs> write this as an F bar of X, which is equal to 
f of x plus one half p of x. So in each case, this is um, well. Actually, it's easier to see what's going on here with an example. <coughs> Keep this source, actually let me rewrite this up there. <coughs> Keeping that source, if x is 1, 2, 3, p of x is 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, cdf is 0 0.5, 0 0.8, plot the CDF, what I get is this. It's a 0 up to 1, at which point I get 0.5. Then it's 0.5 up to 2, at which point I get 0.8. And then it's 0.8 up to 3, at which point I get 1. Therefore, what we have are 